It's Zena, your best friend who loves horror. Do you guys miss going to the movie theaters? Because I know that I do. I miss waiting in line to pick up tickets. I miss the smell of popcorn, which is insane because I have to be honest with you, I actually hate popcorn, but I love the smell. Because you know, when you think about it, popcorn gets all stuck in your teeth and it's just so gross. Can you imagine if I went to the movie theater with some floss? And I tell you, I love to floss. So imagine me sitting there in a seat flossing while people are trying to watch a movie. I mean, it's dark. You shouldn't be looking at me. You should be looking at the movie, but whatever. Anyway, just so you can sit in the dark for two hours or so, you know, with your friend or a family member or a boo, along with random strangers that you don't know. And you're all there for one reason, and that's to check out this movie that you've been dying to see. Or sometimes you're not really dying to see the movie, but then I love the feeling that when the movie surprises you, and you check out a movie that you absolutely love that you didn't think that you would. Well, today I'm talking about top horror movies that take place in movie theaters. I'm sharing my top five. I was actually inspired by Megan from bloodydisgusting.com. She did this awesome list. Her article is called Tara at the Multiplex, nine horror films set in a movie theater. All right, so the first one I like to talk about is Demons from 1985. This movie was directed by the awesome Lamberto Bava and produced by Daria Argento. So just a quick synopsis for you guys. A group of random people are invited to a screening of a mysterious movie, only to find themselves trapped in the theater with ravenous demons. I feel like this movie is a masterpiece and honestly, it's 80s fun. Sure, there's demons with yellow eyeballs, violently killing people and it's like gore and everything like that and yeah there was sweaty cocaine users but visually i feel like this movie is so beautiful and satisfying and to be honest with you that's one of the many reasons why i would always just re-watch it there's also a phenomenal score there's awesome metal music and all around there's high energy so what i mean by high energy you know sometimes when you watch a movie and it takes a little bit for the movie to like really get started like maybe 30 minutes maybe 40 minutes with this movie you are pretty much all the way in lamberto bava he knows how to entertain from the start to the finish and this movie is no exception at all i feel like if you have not seen this movie i highly recommend checking it out asap and a question that i have for you is if you saw this guy and he offered you a free movie ticket to check out a movie would you check it out I'm gonna be honest with you. If he offered me a free movie ticket, you know, to check it out or whatever, heck yeah, heck yeah, I would accept it. First of all, he looks cool. Look at him. He looks awesome. I wanna hang out with him. We could bake cookies. We could, okay, we probably can't do all that stuff. I was gonna say we can go to the mall. Nobody's going to the mall. Anyway, point is, he looks cool. So I'm like, yeah, he's clearly into cinema. He knows genre films. We could have a good time. And also, movies are my weakness. So yeah, I'm going to accept that. Spoiler! Who would have known that somebody would have just, you know, decided to get scratched by a mask and now demons are out gouging out people's eyeballs, okay? Thanks a lot, Rosemary. I know that my family's sick of me yelling. Say hello. Hello. Look at you. Look at all beautiful. So the next one on the list is going to be The Final Girls from 2015 and a synopsis for you guys. A young woman grieving the loss of her mother, a famous scream queen from the 1980s, finds herself pulled into the world of mom's most famous movie. Reunited, the women must fight off the film's deranged killer. So this movie is a playful comedy horror that is also a slasher. So think like, you know, Friday the 13th, but more silly. And I also love the storyline for this movie. Just this young woman being reunited with her mom, you know, watching her mom on the screen and everything like that. It's kind of, it's very touching. But then on top of that, you know, it's basically just a movie about a killer that's going around killing counselors. Again, it is a comedy horror, so please do not take it seriously. It's also enjoyable. I feel like it's the type of movie that if you love 80s movies you may enjoy this if you love comedy horrors you may enjoy this as well I honestly feel like it is a love letter to 80s slasher movies and honestly I'm all here for it so number three on the list we're gonna be talking about the tangler from 1959 an obsessed pathologist discovers and captures a parasitic creature that grows when fear grips its host 
This is a classic William Castle film because of the essential ingredients. First you have a great cast, then you also have like the campy tone, and third, but of course not least, you have the bold marketing. this is the kind of movie that you do not watch alone that it's better if you do watch in a group because you know how it is when you watch a movie alone compared to watching with a group there's always a different feel to it. So number four on the list is going to be an episode from Masters of Horror and it's Cigarette Burns. This one was directed by John Carpenter and it came out in 2005. So just a quick synopsis for you guys. I don't know why I said it like that. I don't know. A movie theater owner with a troubled past is hired to search for the only existing print of a film, a film so notorious that its single screening caused viewers to become homicidally insane. With this episode, there was just something about it that I could not shake. Like it stayed with me clearly for years because this came out in 2005 and I'm still thinking about it. So if you have not checked out any of the episodes of Masters of Horror, I do recommend checking out this show, but this one really did stick with me. Also, Norman Reedus is in it, AKA Daryl from The Walking Dead. So if you wanna check that out, they also have like an awesome cast all around, so. All right guys, so we made it to the final one. We're gonna be talking about Coming Soon from 2008. A projectionist working at a movie theater decides to make a copy of a film to sell to bootleggers. Yes, he is taking it there. But out of all the movies that he decides to bootleg, it's the film Evil Spirits, which is based on a true story of a murderous old woman who abducted and stabbed the eyeballs out of children before she was hung by villagers. As the viewer of this movie, you should already know what's gonna happen to this projectionist because not only is he breaking the rules and all that stuff, but it's like you're messing around with an evil spirit, okay? So you already know that she's gonna come out of the movie and just start brutally killing everybody, okay? So I had to include this movie on the list because I do feel like this movie is genuinely creepy. And on top of that, it's just like, there's so much blood that's in this movie. I was not expecting that. I thought it was gonna be more of a like, you know, ghost paranormal type of thing. But that old haunted spirit woman, she is brutal. It's basically a movie within a movie. And honestly, it's just such a fun concept. And plus who can deny spooky and bloody? It's just such a good mix. That's my list of top horror movies that take place in movie theaters. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I'm interested to know what are some of your favorite, you know, movies that take place in horror. What? I'm interested in knowing what are some of your favorite horror movies that take place in movie theaters. Feel free to comment below and thank you all for watching.